All right, all right, all right, we're on. You're on, Shane. All right, everyone, welcome to the worldwide world of Yu-Gi-Oh, lads. Yeah. So, you guys on YouTube, you can, like, put in the comments whose commentary you think is better, mine or Shane's. This is uh the I'm second hands down. second match of the top four <laughs> war here. We've got uh John Oxendean, I think is his last name, versus Chris uh Shane, do you know if it's Biswell or Biswell? It's probably Biswell. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That sounds less gay. Yeah. So yeah. Alright, so we still have no idea what they're playing. Yeah. And these guys have like Solid. both topped YCSs before, so clearly master duelists. Yeah. And probably, unlike the last seven matches, probably at least one of these two duelists is not playing Rabbit. Or so the rumor goes. I don't know. You'd be surprised. Let's see. I mean, hopefully we'll see a monster soon and find out. Oh, Reckless Greed. Reckless Greed. I think we're seeing Dark World here. Yeah, shitty Dark World dot deck. Reckless Greed mm -hmm. is like one of like my top most overrated cards in the game. <laughs> that that and Thunder King Ryo very against Rabbit. Like Rabbit. <laughs> you know, I don't even main deck Thunder Kings anymore. Thunder King's so bad, the more I like think about it. I'm pretty sure in the yeah. Rescue Rabbit Mirror, like, an Alexandrite Dragon or a Gene Warped Warwolf would just be better than a Thunder King. <laughs> just because it has 2,000 attack uh, and doesn't get hit by Fiendish Chain and would give yeah, you more Rescue Rabbit graph. targets. So if it hits that face down, we're going to finally see what we're playing with. Yeah, may maybe it's Dark World versus Wind-Ups. That's a pretty good one, because, like... The Dark World doesn't, like, have the hand traps to stop wind-ups, but, like, if they get, like, a mm -hmm. skill drain or a deck debbie going, it's, like, pretty bad. You're done. The thing that and sucks about Dark World, though, here. is, like, everyone just sides Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, because Insectors are a deck. So, like, it's so bad, you just mm -hmm. have to go into every match knowing that your opponent has, like, two or three Shadow Mirrors boarded against you. I was actually at a, um... Maryland Regional, and this is how random the meta is. Someone was actually main decking three Shadow Impersonating Mirrors, and went like, X1 for the day. I was like, oh cool, he probably just played in the sectors all day long, yeah. and got there. I mean, our meta in Florida is like, pretty bad too. Yeah. Maryland's notorious. Maryland's meta is like the Mexico YCS. Sure. Like Florida oh, used to have like one of the best there. metas in like 07, 08 era. Like now it's just mm -hmm. it's just terrible. Like none of the good players play anymore. Like everyone oh, in Florida that like you know their name, none of them play anymore. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of old school players I remember that don't even play. It's terrible. Mm hmm. Oh, I got uh, another, another reckless. reckless Greed. What a master. This is why I hate Reckless Greed. It's like you just have multiples and it's awesome, or you just don't and you, you just want to kill yourself. Yeah, basically. Oh, fuck, I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm pretty tired too. Alright, so we're going to finally figure out this other deck. Watch it be a replay. Nope, nope, no, we're not going to figure it out. <laughs> Damn. So close. And Chris is happy that he got the card destruction. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dino Rabbits. We knew we were going to see at least one. Yeah. And a Gooba. So what's it gonna exceed in here to? Laggy, I guess. Or or I don't know. Like I get I could see either one being good. Dolka. Okay. He has another Graffa in his grave though, right? Um uh, he, he can just summon the brow again. Yeah. 
return it, bring back Grafo, like, it just seems so bad unless Biswell has, like, a deep prison set or something. It's gonna float that pro heavy. Yeah, so like I said, re return Brow, bring back Grafo. I can't imagine that his face downs or anything to worry about. He's def he definitely doesn't have warning. Right, so so it's like a like I said, it's like he has to have like a bottomless or a deep prison or something, or yeah, that something Dolka is uncommon. just a complete waste. Mm-hmm. I think he's realizing it now. But like, even if he does deep prison the Grafa, it's not like he's in a horrible position. Because he still has the chain graph and it's just still there as a blocker, like twenty seven attack. Mm -hmm. That's like really good. Yeah, he <laughs> realized his misplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, there goes my twenty dollars. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys can fucking misplay against my team? I'm not gonna lie, I offered B Amazing 12 to throw the war. Yeah, I, I already saw. <laughs> I mean, he would never take a bet like that. He has way too much Yu Gi Oh pride. I mean, he doesn't play in real life, so I was like, yeah, you can be the only person to he be does, 100%. He doesn't play like, at all in real life? Like, not even at like a locals every three he months or have something? Cards. What? He doesn't have cards. And apparently he doesn't have friends. I'm sure he has friends. So. Well, I don't know. You're saying that, like, he doesn't have friends? Because if he did have friends, they would lend him cards? Yes. Oh, okay. I never really like playing against Dark World. So it's too much of a random matchup. They either get on a roll and just keep going, or they just oh, yeah, kind of stall out and sit there. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. <laughs> Another uh, fiendish that chain. Fiendish... And Dark World usually doesn't play MSTs either, like the builds that you see on Duelist Grounds most of the time. Mm -hmm. They usually play like one heavy and that's it, right? Oh, um, although although all he has that. to do is like deck Devi his Grafa, summon a Dark World, bring it back. You know what I'm saying? That would work too. He could even like just Dark Hole his two Grafas just to like get the Fiendish chains off of them. There's like so many things he could do. I have a feeling that he is playing the Atlanta deck that topped. Which deck? The one, the, one the Atlanta that one. Atlanta. That deck the was one terrible. The one that didn't play Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, or Monster Reborn. No, he's definitely not playing that deck. I give him way more credit than that. I don't know. It looks like it. No, I think this is just like, like all the builds on Duelist Grounds are the same. Like the build that like Absolute has. Like it originally started with like Claudio's build or whatever. Like the kind of like. Turbo, okay, like, right. virus you a bunch of times board. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Dark World's a strong matchup against Rabbit, too. Because it's just... Keep bringing out your big beats. Yeah, like... Rabbit can't get over The Grapha is, like, really good against Rabbit. Did he just... Reborn oh, pff, get blown out. <laughs> oh. I mean, it just doesn't even, like... That's all of them. Now his two graphs are in the grave, and he can just, like, bring them back. Yeah, it makes no fucking sense, because he's just going to summon something and pop it back up. Yeah. Okay, you just cleared your own field. 
Yeah, like I was I was talking about like dark holing himself just to get the chains off of him. His opponent just did the work for him. Yeah. I mean he had to do it, but well since he activated the Starlight, yeah. but Yeah. I I think he just Chris just has to accept that he loses game one. Yeah, I mean I wouldn't, like, certainly Dark World has a favorable matchup against Rabbit game one. Like, I think post board mm -hmm. it gets a lot harder. Because, oh, like, course. good Rabbit decks, are gonna have, they're going to have Shadow Mirrors. Possibly even Macros. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe DD Crows. Like, there's just so many, like, awesome things that they can bring in against Dark World. And, like, not even specifically cited against Dark World, just cards that, like, happen to be good against it. Yeah, for... In Maryland, in my rabbit deck, I had three Shadow Imprisoning, two DD Crow, and I think I played one Macro on the side. Yeah. Lux is mainly Macro and Atlanta. Into a dark world deck. That was my tech. <laughs> I mean, he said he didn't like it. No, I think he said he liked it. I like know, I wouldn't mean it now because like he said he wasn't a fan of it. I recall him saying that he liked it, but... I don't know. You like, don't get me wrong, me. I definitely wouldn't mean it now, because now, like, before we were expecting the meta to, like, not have as many rabbit mirrors, but, like, it's obvious now that there's going to be a lot of those now. Nowadays, I'm just maining yeah. Vanity's Emptiness, because that's clearly much better in the mirror match than Macro is. That rabbit, is he going to make another Dolka? I mean, who cares? Like And a Max C. Rabbit can't go and do a guy that kills Grafa, like... Yeah. Well... Like, that's just no. why that's just why the Dark World deck's good, like... You just bring out Grafa and you're like, well, what do you do? It's interesting that, uh, John Ox is main decking Maxis and Dragdowns. Cause, like, those two, yeah. like, you know, kinda conflict a little. It makes me wonder, like, how many of each he's playing. Maybe, like, two maxis and two drag downs or something? I don't... I mean, it's just... A, it seems like a bad card in general to put in. He accidentally... What's, what happened there? He accidentally drew for his turn. When he wasn't supposed to. But he did immediately put it back, so... Yeah. He didn't shuffle his hand and then try to <laughs> worm his way out of it. <laughs> Players against players that draw extra cards. Man, he plays Dark World Dark Lightning World too. Lightning. He's got all the tech. Holy shit. Obviously, he would Dark World Lightning the Mirror Force. If that and set was like a fiendish chain or an MST. <laughs> it, Chris is so stupid. Well, that was an embarrassing game one, to say the least. Yeah, I hope he's got a good comeback, because my $20 is looking grim right now. I mean, it's only the beginning of the war. I'm... Like, there's plenty of chances to for things to go the other way. Like, what is Dark World even side in against Rabbit? Game? Like, just nothing, right? Um, I don't know what Dark World sides in general, to be honest, because I don't even play it. Let's see. Uh, they might side in Reapers. Maybe, but they've had to side out drag down stuff, so that doesn't make sense. I mean, last time I played Dark I World that. was pre order of Chaos. I played it at, like, Kansas City. And, like, I, my build was just, like, oriented to beat plants, and, like, obviously plants aren't a deck anymore. So, like, I don't know, like, how the side has changed now. Yeah. Well,. Like okay, okay. Clearly, like clearly, if John Knox isn't maining three MSTs, they're all coming in, right? Because, like, you want to kill the the Shadow Mirrors, you want to kill the Macros, you want to kill the other various right, Macros. Right. Other than that, I don't really know. It's probably just, like, MSTs and then, like, a couple of Reapers or something. And then board out the Dragdowns. Brady's just going crazy. Oh, and the Watcher chat? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at the watcher chat. Brady's just 
Brady is the pro Yu-Gi-Oh player, it's all talk and no play. He's gonna be mad at me when he hears this later. Hmm. All right, well, the rabbit player get to go first, so maybe we'll see a, a rabbit open. Countered by a max C. Probably not. Even still, the Dark World Dex has too much of a favorable matchup. Yeah, look at that. All he needs is drag down now, and he's got it. What do you mean? He has a Dulka in play. You have to get rid of the Dulka before you do anything. Like, turn one Dulka against Dark World is, like, pretty hard to beat, I'd say. Mm. The best thing you can do is, like... Summon a Dark World guy, activate Drag Down, pitch Graffa, return Dark World guy, bring back Graffa, attack. Okay. It gets there. Yeah, like, that's... That's really, like, the only, like, easy play to, that, like, beats Dolka. I mean, he, he, could, he could also just have, like, a Dark Hole or something, but, like... Not everyone can be a master. Maybe he's sided in Smashings. I mean, it, it is a possibility, but like, I don't think Dark World really has like room to like side in those kinds of cards. No, nah, there's always room for a smashing or two. I mean, you can always like side out your shitty reckless greeds. You can side out them shitty maxis that he doesn't need. I mean, maxis pretty good against Rabbit, I heard. Oh yeah, I heard, I heard that too. Not in Dark World. The fucking drag downs. I mean, I just like Maxi better than drag down. Like, if I had to play one or the other, I'd just rather just play Maxis and not play drag downs. Yeah. But, like, I've same, never really been, deal. like, a huge fan of drag down. Like, I played it at Kansas City, but, like, people were just acting like, oh man, you just play turn one drag down, there's no way you can lose. Like, it's not like that at all. Uh oh. Rabbit numero dos. It's rabbit season. I mean, if Jonox just plays, like, Torrential here or something, like, Biswell just gets blown out. Unless Biswell has a Starlight yeah. Road. Torrential? It's there? You know what? Now that I think about it, Biswell probably just does have a Starlight Road. Goes in match. Solid. Yeah, I mean, here Kid you just leaves. have to kill the two Saber sources. Basically. That's what you saw it again. Yeah, I, I, I admit, match. I completely forgot about Gozen. I'm not gonna lie, I did too. But, it's 3.30 in the morning, we're allowed to forget. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got yep. the lance. What do you do now? Like, summon snow attack? I guess. Anything to get that dunk off the field. Because now all he's gonna do is just press for damage. Yeah. See, I think what's gonna happen here is Jonx is gonna flip Reckless Greed. You get two shitty cards and then just lose because of it. Oh, well, you might flip a second. Well, let me put it this way: if he had two reckless greeds, he wouldn't need to think. He would need to think <laughs> if he had Basically. one. Oh, there's some writhing person that says he knows John. <laughs> <laughs> do, Brady you has, do you approve of your friend's deck? I'm John Oxford, and I approve this message. <laughs> I mean, sorry, Brady, not everyone can just run a cookie cutter rabbit deck. 
Apparently that's all he wants to see. Can be a master. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, I got timed out. Called out. You got timed out at the same time as me? No. No. But thanks for the reminder. It's so annoying, like Let's see. All you missed was a Dolka attack, it got through. No. Oh. <laughs> and now it's John's turn. Okay, you're back. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure Bizzle's gonna win this game, because, like, the main out to Dolka is Dark Hole. He's just already used it. Yeah. He needed to get that Gozen flipped up earlier, too. Well, I mean, he, he wasn't going first. Like, what's he supposed to do? And there's America's favorite card. It just got raped. It's not my favorite card. I don't think Tour Guide's anyone's favorite card. I love Tour Guide. It just looks cool. I guess. Like, my favorite card would probably be, like, Magical Merchant. <laughs> I've had tons of fun with that card. Or Red Gadget. Red Gadget's pretty sweet, too. Red Gadget. I... I always like Yada. What Look, Yada? There's that reckless. Yep. Yeah, that's like that's like Lux's favorite card in the entire game too. Yeah. He like just tries to cube draft it like every single time. I remember one of my first tournaments. I made it to finals, and very first turn my opponent goes second. So when Yada attacks, I scoop my cards. I couldn't do nothing. Cool story. <laughs> I mean, like, I've seen, like, in Cube Draft, I've seen Lux go, like, crush card to use, summon Yada, attack. Like, like that's pretty silly, isn't it? <laughs> like, what Lux he actually does, like, he goes, like, turn one, set, like, Sangin Crush, go. He goes, like, mm -hmm. crush, tribute my Sangin, search Yada. Like, what do you do? GG? Hey, we finally seen the gates of the dark world. It's about fucking time. Oh, skill. Yeah, let's just pay yourself down to a hundred. Why not? There's that shadow mirror. Oh, jeez, uh, look at that chain that right MST. there. Graphite, Dolka, Skill Dream, Shadow Mirror, MST. Oh my God, keep chaining. I know that's pretty sweet, isn't it? Because since he books the uh, the Skill Dream, doesn't stop it. That's pretty clever. I wonder how skill intensive a chain burn mirror match would be. Is that a joke? I don't know, it'd be kind of funny. I would never want to play a chain burn mirror match. Because <laughs> <laughs> all 10 cards backwards. Jeez, Dizzles has got like all the outs. It does this game, yeah. Oh man, what's he gonna discard off his dealings? It's a Grapha. Maybe. I mean, he's at 100 it's life. Not, you he, better, he better have something good. Oh, wow. He discarded a Dark Hole? Okay, it didn't matter. Yeah. That hand must be pretty good to discard a Dark Hole. Yeah, probably. That was a pretty good game, too. I enjoyed watching that. My twenty dollars is feeling a little bit better, so it's <laughs> getting there. I mean, going first is nice, though. It is. That's why I'm hoping this guy opens like the most god awful dark world hand. J just no monsters. There we go. If he draws no monsters, he loses. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, third and final game.
let's see what kind of sick opening John Ox has here. Oh, the turn one drag down? Maybe? No, just three back rows. Heavy storm? Oh my god, Brady. He's so mad. He is. He's an angry individual. <laughs> And it gets there. Solid. Three star laborers. I guess, like, in these matchups, you, like, try to play pretty aggressive here. Because, like, obviously John Ox doesn't oh, really yeah. have anything good right now. You definitely want to press against this deck as much as you can. Because most of their cards that they set are pretty much dead cards. And you need monsters to go yeah. along with them. And now, look. He settled for Utopia Ray win. Oh, the, oh there's the first Reckless. reckless. Too reckless. I don't think he has a second one. Come on, flip it. I'm like 90% sure he doesn't oh. have a second reckless. That made me sad. He's gonna draw it right here. Bam. Alright, let's see where this goes. Does he have the shadow mirror? Nope, no shadow mirror. So I guess here he searches gate, or Graffa. I guess he already has the gate. Mm-hmm. Most likely. Visual could have the MST, though. That's another possibility. Botan is angry. <laughs> he's he he's not angry, he's just... He's clearly being sarcastic. <laughs> he's just Botan. Also, it's this guy. Isn't it's it pronounced Bodin? Like, if it was Bodden, wouldn't there be two Ds? Uh, I don't know. I always call him Bodden. I'm pretty sure it's Bodden. I don't know. He's fucking OZ. He, he's irrelevant. He's Blue Dragon. <laughs> he didn't chain the MST. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Biswell has just been punting left and right. I'm pretty sure Chris is getting kicked after this match because Brady's gonna rage. Oh, Baden wants in on this. I mean, I'm not recording another match after this. They, I mean, they, they can war. Like, I won't stop them, though. This match is just irrelevant. They're both misplaying like hell, apparently. What if this tour guy just gets Valored here? Alright, no such luck. That'd be pretty funny. 
That or he'll end up veiling the, um... Olivier. So fun to pick on be amazing. I mean, it, it is sometimes. It so easy. Well, it's like it's so comical because like he just plays so much and wins, and like people don't like him because of that it's weird. I hate warring against it. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. I get 500 messages a day from Be Amazing. What's wrong with that? I like warring against Hitless. I'd rather get 500 messages a day than zero. I, I like a nice medium. I mean, like, you can tell them that they're that you're busy if you're legitimately busy. Like, I'd at least I'd at least rather uh, them show interest, though. I tell them I'm tired after work. And they're like, blah, Julio. He doesn't take brain power. Well, yeah, I mean, it only takes, like, you know, maximum, like, 50 minutes to complete a match, like. Yeah, fuck that. I mean, if I came home from work tired, I would just love to play a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! It'd be the highlight of my day. Hmm. ARG streams games, huh? You know, the pro play here would be uh, search hedge guard with Sangin to prevent a Sabersaurus from dying. Yes. Why do you cite in Arcana Force the Fool against Dark World? That seems like about as terrible as it gets. Just to stall it out, I guess. <laughs> Stalling against like Dark World isn't even a good strategy. Like they're just gonna kill your I shit mean, with Grapha, or just deck Devu, or like a million other things. Like Dark World just has way too much inevitability to try to stall against it. I mean, they've been misplaying till now, so at least they're being consistent in all three phases. Time to make Acid Golem, finally? Uh, Acid Golem seems pretty terrible. Given that Grapha has 3,000 attack. Ah, uh, so he does. What type is Acid Golem? Um, a water, I'm pretty sure. Why do you have to think about flipping that skill drain? I don't know. This whole match doesn't make sense. If yeah. Chris wins, I'll be happy. I mean, the bright side is... Vizwell's tour guide does have 1300 attack. Ooh. Yeah, I think he's just dead as shit now. Doesn't he have like a second Grafa in there? Or am I just like thinking the last game? Uh, I don't know. I think it's last oh, game. Oh, well, okay, okay, well, there's a second Grafa. Excuse me. Yeah, got him. GG, game over. Yep, that's game. Yep. Good game. Goddamn.